Hello and welcome. We are in, hopefully, Switzerland. I only say hopefully because you don't get country borders or country names in Flight Sim. Hello. And it looks kind of alpy. So we're flying the Got Friends Discus Glider. This one comes equipped with an electric motor. Hopefully, we're going to give it a try. We're going to fly around a little bit. I did test it earlier on and it was quite... No, it was fairly easy to use. Flarm. I love the fact that it's something that's called a flarm. Flarm displayed. Right, so we want to go down here. Flarm power switch on. We want to do the master battery on. P2 on. We don't need the lights. FCU for the engine. Pitch trim's fine. Speed brakes are stowed. Both sides. Okay, excellent. So we're practically ready to go at this point. Now, this glider is a bit different from everything else I've used. Now this cost me about £14 and I am very happy with it so far. I think I could do a lot of good things with this. I believe this gives us the wind direction, although we get that without it, so what does that actually mean? I'm not sure to be honest. This doesn't seem to do anything. See, it looks very Alpy, so I'm pretty sure this is the Alps. And LIMW Airport, let's just see. LIMW is Aosta Valley, which is near St. Christophe which is a lot more difficult to find out which country it's in. It's not in Peru? Okay, right. I feel like I'm being lied to a little bit by... Uh... Do you know, the problem is that I used Bing instead of Chrome because it was a little bit easier. Anyway... We shall retract the canopy. <laughs> Retract. I wonder if that's the right words to use, to be honest. I'm not quite sure. Anyway. I don't believe we have a parking brake anyway. And what we're going to do is... If anyone... Has no idea how a glider works in this game. You need to wiggle the rudder a few times. That person over there is giving the signal to the winch operator. And we're in the air. Now if we do need it, we have an electric motor, which I can demonstrate now. If it works. Oh, there we go. So this comes in pretty handy. It does look very alpy, doesn't it? I think that line thing just tells us where we've been, more or less. Milan Center, Moan and Mike Oscar. Milan Center, Alpha, okay, so we're zero heavy is type Shemper, discus two C FES one miles west of Lima, India, in Mike Whiskey, two thousand four hundred feet. Milan Italy. Request flight Italy. following. Mike Oscar November Alpha November 10 Heavy Milan Center. Okay, so we're in the Squawk air. Six tree, seven, six. Squawk 63 76. Right, Oscar, so the November device Alpha, that's making November the beeping zero, noise right now, I've discovered is called a variometer or a variometer. And what it does is it tells us if we're climbing or descending. Now, it's a little bit easier to read in this glider than it is on. Roger Some of the other Mike ones Oscar, that flown. November Alpha, November one zero heavy. Now we're looking for some thermals or mountain ridges to use. 
Was that? I think that was a proper airport back then, actually, wasn't it? Let's just have a little peek. Yeah, it was an actual proper airport, so it wasn't like a glider field. So if we need to, like I said, if we have this engine, it doesn't have a whole lot of fuel or power. But what it does have is the ability to let us climb. So as you can see, we're climbing quite nicely. We are still... And we're, we're about 3,000 feet, but I believe that's already the field elevation. So we can run this engine a little bit, but it will start to overheat. And when it starts to overheat, we will have to reduce it. We also have an attitude indicator on this. So if we want to see where the nose is pointed, it gives us a good idea. Which is quite nice because you don't tend to get that on very many gliders. One of the nice things about this though is that when you stop the engine, you cut it, it parks the propeller. Which basically means it just disappears into the front of the aircraft. Which is pretty cool because then as soon as it's hidden away, you're just back to gliding. Now there is an aircraft coming in the new sim, the STEMI, which is a motorised glider as well. And I believe there is a petrol and an electric version. And I think this Discus also has an electric and a petrol version. I believe this one is an electric motor. So we can see on the variometer we are descending, albeit slightly. We can balance that a little bit by raising the nose, but we don't want to do that too much because as we start to lose airspeed, we're going to descend. Now we're looking for things like these hills over here. Now, depending on where the wind is coming from, which is coming from in front of us and not very fast we might be able to, as we're looking to fly into this hillside here, we might start to get some wind flying over the mountain well that actually looks really nice and as that starts flying over the mountain we will uh, potentially gain a little bit more lift. Now if we need it, we've got the engine, so we'll turn that on for a little bit here. I think as you can see in the little graph behind... As we're flying through this area, it's leaving a bit of a trail. Now I think the different colours on that will give us an idea of what we're gaining or losing, respectively. Now we're really quite low at your speed here. We'll try and get a little bit over this direction and see if we can gain a little bit more as well. Yeah, we seem to be getting a little bit as we're flying along this end direction. I think as we do gain airspeed, we're getting a little bit more lift over the wing, which means that we're getting more vertical speed. And we 
can then trade that for a little bit more altitude as well. Now the engine's obviously not at full blast right now, so if we turn it up... We can obviously claim a lot more. But if we do this, I think what we can also do is we can use any mountain ridges that we get and the engine in combination to give us a bit more lift. But I suppose one of the problems that we probably encounter is the fact that the engine's on is probably spoiling some of the airflow over the front of the aircraft, which will then make it a little bit more difficult for the actual aerodynamics to do us the favours that we need. Yeah, one thing that we definitely need to do here is that we're starting to really lose a lot of airspeed and we're flying into mountainous terrain, so we need to start thinking about getting out of here. Yeah, you can see the difference when we cut the engine and when the engine's on. try and do is perform a little bit of a landing here. So with the airspeed that we have just now, hoping that we can make a nice steady descent. Was the landing gear out that whole time? Probably. It's probably not helped things. We'll get some air brakes out of here. Okay, we've got a fairly nice approach here. Okay, and what we're going to do is just try and line ourselves up a little bit. Is that a train station down there? Well, it's on a highway. <laughs> the ILS goes through the highway. <laughs> and there's a building in the middle of it as well. What the hell is that? That's crazy. Ah, flight simulator. Never change. Right, the speed brakes are still out. We're dropping the airspeed. We've got a fairly nice little uh, descent path here. We'll aim for this touchdown point right in the center. Very nice. Really wish I had rudder pedals. Can we do a hot taxi? Nope. Now one nice thing about this, now we have the option to do a touch and go. How many other gliders can you say can do that? Not very many. Speed brakes are up. The one thing that's a little bit more difficult about this is that it's quite hard sometimes to get it off the ground. But we managed that okay there. 
It's a bit squirrely on the ground, but I was holding full forward on the stick there, hoping that to try and build up as much airspeed as possible. Alexa, on a glider, what is a flarm? Ah, oh, Jesus. She's really messing with us. That hillside is so strange. I like how... Oh! There goes the engine. Okay. Battery empty. Run our own. I'm sure we could make it back to the airport. Ah, the peaceful soaring. Now I think one of the things that you can also get thermals off is asphalt. Now say for example the roads below me technically as the sun heats them up would give us a little bit of lift. Now maybe not a whole lot, but it's some. We're getting a lot now. What was that that was below us though? Sheds. We'll see if we get more as we pass these. Nope. Let's get that landing gear out. Let's get these speed brakes up. Well, the flarm is telling us that something... Something's not good. What is the flarm? Is it like a... I'm really not sure what it is. Sorry, I had to really focus on that there. Well, it's no longer flarming at us, so that's good news. Could probably refuel this, eh? Now, the one problem we'll have is that you know, once we stop in the middle of this taxiway here, there's really nowhere else for us to go. We're clear of the runway. India Mike Whiskey Traffic Moan and Mike Oscar November Alpha November One Zero Heavy is clear of the runway. Right. Now we don't have the option to refuel from here. I mean, that fuel truck seems to have like a hose sticking out of it. Is that normal? It's not the hose. It's the thing on the top. Oh, you can. Turn the yaw string off, okay. It wasn't a hose, it was the yaw string. Which is something I've just learned. So we've learned about the flarm today, that it makes noises. The variometer that lets us go up and down. The yaw string, which tells us whether we're yawing left or right. And... Not a whole lot about how this thing down here works and what those lines mean. I'm assuming blue means not good and the more lighter colours mean good, so... One day we'll find out, I guess. However, thank you very much for watching today's flight. And... This is a fun glider and I really am going to be flying this a hell of a lot more. I need to get a bit more used to gliding, we're going to learn how to do thermals and I think what I'd plan to do for some videos coming up is 
actually learn properly how to do it and how to find thermals, how to mount and soar, those kind of things. We'll look into that in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a nice day and we'll see you next time.